back soon. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. hey, hey, is it good? How you doing? Good. Is it just a coincidence that you happen to look like uh, Ernest Hemingway? No, this is my Buffalo Bills football beer. Oh, okay. Only uh, for football. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, so I'm curious. This beach here, Smathers Beach, because most people they they say that the Keys are not known for their beaches, and then I come here and I see this Smathers, and I'm like, this is gorgeous. There's only one problem. What's that? No waves. No waves. Okay. Never so this waves. is more like a golf. It's more like a Gulf Coast beach. Yeah. Yeah. Like a. That's the Atlantic, but it's like you know the Gulf. That is true. I didn't think about that, but um, it's certainly very lake-like. So if you're looking for something calmer, this is good. Um, well, you guys do have watercraft here that you we rent out. Everything: of paddle boards, kayaks, sailboats pretty barren right now I mean it's a Thursday but it is fantasy fest does it pick up here on the weekends uh, it depends every day is different but fantasy fest is more of a nighttime get drunk right crazy so all those people are still hung over and sleeping usually this beach is pretty packed is it but um, every day is different you know that's what makes it interesting what happens in Key West stays in Key West yeah. right there you go Thanks, brother. Hey, man. Did you ever enter uh, the contest or Ernest Hemingway? No, I, I just really because you really look like him. Yeah, I mean, your face too. Told me that last night. Yeah. yeah. You but come on, that's the first time you heard that. You look like Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, well, I know. I never have a beard. It's Dude, just... you're you're a dead ringer for him. I'm telling right. you. You should walk into Sloppy Joe's and like people would be going like this. You know, <laughs> he's back. He's back. Take care, guys. All right. All right, guys. That's it in a nutshell. Or in a coconut shell. Smathers Beach. Definitely come and check it out. Worth a visit. On to the next adventure. I'm from Canada. Where are you from? Oh, you are? Uh, I'm doing this YouTube thing. You want to say hello? You're from Canada? So you you came all the way from Canada. How did you get here? A friend of mine. We both flew. You flew. So are you a snowbird or is it just purely vacation? No, vacation. We come every year. For about seven years now. Wow, and you come specifically to Key West? Yeah. You don't go to Miami, any other parts of Florida? No, when I was younger, I used to stay in Fort Walton Beach for almost two years. Oh, up in the I Panhandle, 38. I business with a friend of mine, and it was, it was great. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. I just you know did what? an RV trip up there, and, and I loved it. I will mm -hmm. definitely be going back there, but what is it about Key West that you like? Uh, that everybody's just kind of, it's quieter. I like that. It's quiet. My friend does. My friend does. That's got to be the first time I ever heard Key West is quiet. <laughs> well, you know what? This is quiet. This beach is really quiet. That's why I was I shocked. To this one because I'm just, you know, chilling out today. <laughs> that works great. Well, it's nice meeting you, dear. Thanks for chatting with us. You too. You too. Pretty cool spot. Nice uh, trail you got here. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we just sell some coffee, baked goods, sandwiches, smoothies, that kind of thing. Nice. This is very convenient to have right here, it, so close I to the beach. So. I used to work down the down the street construction, and I always wished there was a place here to get food, so I didn't have to go to Starbucks. Really? And so when I finished that, so you you quit your construction job and came here to do this? Yeah, there was a couple other steps involved, but. Good for you, man. Living the dream. Yeah. What can you tell me about this beach? This Smathers. beach? Yeah. Smathers Beach. Sometimes it's called Smelly Beach because part of the year they it gets hot and we get a lot of seagrass. But then in November, October, November comes around. After hurricane season, it clears up and becomes really pretty. And it's just a really quiet, calm, clean beach. It's kind of a cool view, too, when you look down the way that we're, the road and the coast wraps around towards the airport. Absolutely. You get this long view and it. Sometimes in the morning, it does not even look like you're in Key West or Florida. It looks it's, like you're in Australia or something. I, I was going to say Caribbean. It's it's got it's definitely got a foreign look to it, which is awesome and pretty unique. I mean, it's Thursday. It's still a weekday, but um, th th there's hardly anybody there. They come out later. Lunchtime is when people start showing up at the beach. So it'll get busy here. Yeah, it's fantasy fest also, so they're everybody's sleeping in so fantasy fest actually takes people away from the beach would you say yes until they wake up i guess and how often are you out here every day but wednesday every day but wednesday wow good for you 
Well, guys, come and visit. What's your name? Mike. Come and visit Mike and Brian. Brian? Yes. Nice to meet you guys. And uh, nice to meet you. appreciate the information. Are you guys um, native to? I'm, I'm a freshwater conch. You're a saltwater conch. Right? Freshwater. Oh, okay. you got to explain that to me. Okay, so mm -hmm. if, you li if you're born in Key West, you are a, are a best. If you're born in the Florida Keys, you're a saltwater conch. If you've lived in the Florida Keys for at least seven years, you become a freshwater conch. Wow. You can never be a saltwater con, but... What if you just got here? If you just got here, you're a tourist. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, guys. It looks like there's a pier here. Sorry. Turn right onto White Street. And I see people riding bikes on it, so let's go check it out. Proceed to the route. Guys, I'll tell you what, all other parts of Florida could take a lesson from this. Built right here in Key West. This pier ain't going anywhere through any hurricanes. This is solid concrete. The benches look like monoliths. Solid stone. They won't have to rebuild this thing. Almost looks like a landing pad. Maybe for a helicopter. I don't know. Spear fisherman. Divers. Uh, you can shoot forever here. What's that, buddy? You can shoot forever for hours and hours of shooting. Oh, tell me about it. I know. So much. I'm running out of uh, film and batteries. I'm going to say, film for soon. Do you live here? No, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. Yeah, We're neighbors. We're neighbors, yeah. There you go. What brings you down? Fantasy Fest. 22 years. <laughs> You've been coming 22 years in a row. very clear but it's also very green I mean like marine green not the aqua teal colored green that I like you have that out there though what are you guys spearing Snappers and hot fish? I like to hang out by this place. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Fuck. He just disappeared. Lobster? Big, lo big lobster right here. Oh, nice. Let's let's get him and throw him on the barbecue. <laughs> hey guys, tentacle. Oh, fucker. Can't throw that on the grill.
Turn right onto the bike path. Then turn right onto the bike path. At the stop sign, turn left onto White Street. Alright, we'll check this out real quick while we're here. Hi. I'm good, you? Doing very well. What is this place? This is a garden. It was an old fort, an army fort, that was built back in the 1800s. Wow. Um, it's got a big, huge history. Um, it was refurbished, and then the garden club took it over, and we built a garden. And it's done by volunteers, donation-based. It's a non-profit. Okay, it's guys. A labor of love. Is there you is. go. Come on down, donate and contribute, guys. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate yeah. it. Can I just breeze through real quick? Yep. Yeah, okay, because I left my bike out there anyway. Thank you. Welcome. What year was it built? 1800s. Um, let's see. 45. 1845. Wow. Finally, something that's older than me. Uh -huh. Well, this is beautiful. Proceed to the route. Okay, guys, that was very brief, but this is an interesting place that should be seen. Definitely put it on your list of places to come and check out more fully than I just did. So this is Higgs Beach, guys. This is no longer Smathers. This is another beach, Higgs Beach. And they got tennis courts across from it. I'm gonna go take a quick gander at it. More water sports. Looks like they have some kind of a pavilion here right on the beach keep you out of the sun and uh, volleyball court another pier So guys, uh, I just passed the Casa Marina over there, which means we're very close to Southernmost Point Center. Let's hit that while we're here. You guys have seen me stay at this hotel before. This was Flagler's crowning jewel right here, this hotel.
Turn left onto Reynolds Street. Then turn right onto Washington Street. What's up, buddy? How are you, boss? I'm good, you? Good. Good taking time. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. This place is uh, majestic. Take a walk outside. It's a beautiful day. Let's go see what it looks like out there. So our room was down that way, but we uh, we actually had lunch out here, and it was it was great. It was a lot of fun. The old standby, the cheeseburger in paradise. Nice open air bar here with gorgeous views. How are you? Oh, this is new. They're building a deck out here. Look at that. Very cool. And the beach. You know, it's uh, white sand, so no complaints there. I love how they have these like beach furniture couches out here these these luxury large rotund lounge chairs and you could see what a beautiful piece of property this is this hotel is it's it's very stately all right guys just a quick breeze through I'll show you the pool while we're here Very quiet, I'll say that. The mad rush hasn't gotten here yet. What's up, guys? Oh, you get out of there. Where is everybody? The mad rush hasn't gotten here yet. Yeah, they'll be here. Thanks. I think this is, uh, is it Louis' backyard around here? Yes, there it is. You know what? I don't think I've ever been in there. I'm gonna go do a walkthrough. so much about it. So this lovely young lady was telling me that they also have a tapas restaurant upstairs and she's about to squirt me up there to show it to us. And this is new reservation open five to nine Tuesday through Saturday. So you just show up? You just show up. Oh my kind of place. You have a drink on the after deck and the doors will all be open. There's little deuces that go on the patio. I could see weddings or other parties happening up here too. Do you guys do those? Yes, we do. Because it's the perfect venue for it. Look at that. 
It's incredible. Is it you pay one price and then they put the food out or you you order what you want? Order what you want. Oh, could be at the menu here. Look at that. Thank you, dear. Grilled octopus. That's me. Ahi tuna. Yes. Skirt steak tacos. Now you're playing my song. Two bourbon barbecue bacon wrapped crab stuffed shrimp. That's a mouthful. And I bet it tastes like a mouthful too. Let's come check it out. What's up guys? We ready to start cooking up some masterpieces back there? <laughs> awesome. This is where all the magic happens, right here. Everything here. Fantastic. What? What's your What's your specialty? So we're gonna make tonight a catch with a mushroom cream sauce and basmati rice. What's the catch? I think it's gonna be yellow tail salmon. Oh, yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. All right. Salmon. We'll see you here, my friend. All right. Good Thank to you. See you. Up too. Oh, nice breeze. I could have used that breeze last night in my tent. Alright, guys, onward and upward.